I had deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan for the military. I suffered from PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and injured my hip. There was a lot of you know, issues that came along with that, that avenues I tried before to try and fix it. It came down to the fact that we wanted to try this as the next option, kind of the last ditch situation. In September of 2016, I went down to the program that she went through, which was called Canines for Warriors. I met her and she was like this crazy dog. She was running all over the place. She was on her back, wanting her belly rubbed and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to have this dog the rest of my life. And so I was a little panicky at first, to be honest. When she put the vest on, she was just a total different dog. She had this fun loving personality and everything, but when she put the vest on, she was right, right to work. She knew her job, she did it well. We knew that she was a, a very intelligent dog. We've been together for four years now. I work as a paramedic, been a flight medic when I first got her, and then worked as a paramedic on the ground ever since we've been together as well. So she was the first dog to ride on an ambulance actively with her handler in the country. Having her on the ambulance, we were able to uh, cross train her into different things. The unit that you guys decaled today is the first EMS canine unit in the nation. Wow, that looks really good. Very cool. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? That's you. Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> that is very cool. Thank you guys so much. Wow. You really did an amazing job. It's very cool. Oh, you guys do amazing things. I really wanted to see where you guys could go with it and um, you ran with it, which was awesome. What we really wanted to portray was patriotism. You know, the pictures that we, we had of uh, the layout of how it was gonna look was phenomenal. To see it firsthand is breathtaking, you know? I mean, it's just not something that, um, that the pictures just don't do justice to what it actually looks like in person. You know, it looks like it was printed like on the vehicle as is, like that you didn't do it after, you know? I can't believe how perfect it is. As far as Star and I um, working in the vehicle moving forward, we are uh, gonna leave here and immediately be in service. So if there was anything that popped up, we would of course need to respond to that we can, and it's hard to find you know, good people in the world sometimes. And so to hear, you know, that you wanted to run with it and, and, and really do something great with it, I mean, you did it to a T.